Do people in Canberra know this? Is this a thing? Kangaroos just go on the war memorial? I don't know, it's awesome. Within our little Airbnb, we've been blessed with a little coffee machine and I'm about to try and figure out if I can work it or not. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna call it. And to finish it off, you don't get that at a coffee shop. It needs sugar. It's too much sugar now. You might have noticed that in some of these last couple of videos, they haven't kind of ended properly. Um, and there's a reason for that. We're not kind of holidaying properly <laughs> at the moment. We keep forgetting the basic things and we're not really paying attention to ourselves as sort of in a group of people and trying to make everyone happy. So today we decided, no, we're gonna make ourselves happy. Uh, so for number one, we had a sleep in. We didn't set any alarms. We just said, we're gonna wake up when we wake up naturally. So that worked really well. Now we've slowly got ready and we're about to go out to lunch. The other thing we uh, haven't done is pack water bottles, which seems like a really easy thing to do, but we sort of, in our minds, had it planned out that, you know, we'll go to a cafe, we'll be able to drink then, but then that doesn't happen and then it's another two hours before we eat or drink. So today, we're packing water bottles and snacks. So hopefully, today might have a proper ending, which would be nice. Right, so we're apparently, if Google Maps has told us correctly, gonna head out to uh, B52, the main street of B52. You know, you know B52, and head on down to the Love Shack, also known as Bundagore. Less Love Shacky. Made it here to Bungendor. I don't know what I called it before, but it's Bungendor. 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 So now that we know we're in the town of Dumbledore, Bungendor, we can now um, move on and have some lunch. This place looks nice. Had lunch in Dusseldorf. Bungendor. It was pretty good. <laughs> no one cares if my lunch was good or not. No. Whole point is, in this town of Dusseldorf, the um, <laughs> the whole reason we came here is because there's this wood thing. It's a wood gallery of stuff that is, um, you know, cool that people have carved or whatever other fancy sort of wood carving and maneuvering techniques there are. And we're just about to get to it. If you're good, I'll show you around. I think that's enough wood for one day, if you know what I'm saying. Sean, Sean, come, come back. Well, that was our afternoon here in Sunken Wharf. Fungendor. <laughs> it's, a, it's actually quite a nice little town. Although there is uh, someone here who's spelling things wrong. Here's two examples of that. So the trucks walk down. It's shop. It's obviously shop. And that's Jamaica. 
that's not how you spell it. Anyway, we're gonna go eat cake now. And now that we've had cake, in rolls the storm. And for a sneaky way to uh, top off this lovely day that we've done, just decided we're gonna go out and get a sneaky meal and go uh, go up to the top of Mount Ainsley, which is big, tall mountainy thing in Canberra, and just have a look down while it, uh, it's night. Maybe get some nighty time lapsey things and just enjoy one of our last couple of nights in, uh, I wanted to say Canberra, but we're technically across the border, but we're just border hoppers. It's what we do, we do it on the daily. Just got up to the top of Mount Ainsley. I'm already a little bit nervous because we, we just saw a fox right there. That's where the fox was. Right there. Uh, Sean's just told me they're not predatory, but I'm still a little nervous. It's probably because there's a bunch of food that's been sprawled across here. It's like, honestly, Canberra people, it's disgusting. Or if you're tourists, it's pretty disgusting to see this much stuff here. So we're not going to add to it because we don't need foxes getting all up in our mountains. This here is the uh, War Memorial Building. Just bear with me. There's War Memorial Drive. There's a bunch of kangaroos along here. I'll show you. How flippin' cool is that? Kangaroos at War Memorial. Who would have known? Do, do people in Canberra know this? Is this a thing? Do ca do Kangaroos just go on the war memorial? I don't know, it's awesome. Final stop of the Canberra night tour, the Corellian, which I believe is this blue blur thing behind me. Let's go check it out. This thing is huge, huge, and it has an awesome echo. I need to see if I can get a picture of myself just to give you the depth because it is massive. at the Airbnb now. Today's been a good day. That felt like a substantial vlog. Very happy with how that all went. So if you did find today's thing mildly entertaining, please do give the like thing. Uh, subscribe in a sec. And I'll see you soon with a slightly less location based vlog. We'll be back in Adelaide doing the same old gear. I'm sure it'll be exciting. Just subscribe, you'll see what happens next.